Hey guys, what's up? Do you recognize the background? Maybe, maybe not. I am back at my apartment. And I will be for the next 10 or so months since college is starting back up again. So I thought it'd be fun. Why not do a vlog this week of my first week back? Even though on my channel we mostly talk about books, I still like to share other aspects of my life every now and then. It is currently Monday. This weekend has been pretty hectic because I moved in here Saturday. Then the whole rest of the weekend, I was basically setting everything up and unpacking. Surprisingly, I am almost done unpacking. I really thought I was gonna procrastinate it and take all week to unpack. So I'm kind of proud of myself. For some reason, my semester this year starts on Wednesday. Wednesday. So we have two days to prepare yourself for stress. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, also for the weekend, my dad helped me put up these floating bookshelves, which is really cool. I'm gonna eventually get a fifth one. I just have four right now. So I'm gonna have to put some books up there at one point. So, I mean, there's still some unpacking I need to do, but today I actually wanna do some YouTube stuff. I wanna finish editing my little life vlog and then upload that. This school year, I wanna try to be as consistent with YouTube as possible because I have found, this might sound weird, but YouTube is good for my mental health. That is like the complete opposite of how people usually relate social media and mental health. But for me, creating content brings me so much joy, so much serotonin that I found that when I'm consistently making videos, my overall outlook on life is so much more positive. I love doing this and I love the community we are building. I need to get back to editing. I'm close-ish to being done. I think I still have a few more hours that I need to work on it. I feel like I'm gonna get like inception when I edit this. I'll be editing me editing. That will be a first. Hi vlog. So it is a bit later. It might actually be nighttime, but I was just sitting here thinking to myself, Sarah, what can we do today? tonight that might be fun, but also a bit different. Maybe treat ourselves a little bit. And then it hit me, movie night sounds like a great time. And do you know what movie instantly popped in my head and has been one I've been meaning to watch? Zombies 3 on Disney Plus. I could say that watching Disney movies is a guilty pleasure of mine, but I think there's nothing to be ashamed of, so I'm not going to. I don't watch TV or movies often, because as we all know, I'm more of a book girl. So this will be a fun little change in routine for me. Even though I kind of want to read, but I always want to read, we're going to watch this movie instead. little movie buddy here. We're gonna watch Zombies 3. You're gonna love it. I promise. Oh my gosh. I just remembered that song from the first Zombies movie was such a bop. That line gets me every time. Girl, you look delicious. Oh, I mean gorgeous. I love it, whoever wrote that line. I had that song on repeat after the first movie came out. Also, tell me I'm not the only one that has a Spotify playlist titled Disney Bops. Isn't she the cutest? She's just making herself at home. One time I watched a movie with Belle and she ate my sweatshirt, RIP hot chocolate run sweatshirt. I thought I was gonna sneeze. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I thought I would talk to you all while I'm getting ready this morning. So the verdict on Zombies 3, not one of Disney's finest films. It's not even that it was so bad it was good. It was just straight up bad. I will say I did enjoy seeing the actors that were in the first two movies, but now I kind of want to go back and watch the first two movies to see if they're actually as good as I remember them being. I still enjoyed it enough though, so it wasn't a waste of time. Guys, I have to tell you this morning, I made the fanciest breakfast. Well, for me at least. I made avocado avocado toast, but I used a hash brown instead of the toast. I look awake now. I usually don't make breakfast involving eggs because I'm pretty lazy in the morning and I want to put in as little effort as possible into cooking breakfast. I actually do love cooking in general, but I couldn't care less about cooking breakfast. So egg dishes are usually a no-go in the morning. To me, eggs are so fussy to cook and are so easy to fuck up, but today I decided to pull out my award-winning chef skills. 
That's right, I did win a cooking competition. It might have been in middle school, but that's besides the point. The plan for today is I want to finish unpacking and setting everything up in my apartment, including setting up books on those floating shelves that I showed you guys yesterday. But I'm gonna first finish my makeup and then we will get on to that. All right, I finished the makeup. It's the same makeup I did yesterday. This ColourPop palette has me in a chokehold. I swear if they ever discontinue this, it will be the death of me. Engraved on my tombstone, there will be death by ColourPop. It's gorgeous, babes. The Wild Nothing palette is great for fair skin tones, but let's get on with our day. I thought I'd show you guys my bedroom and show you what I put up. We have my bed. Pillows are a work in progress. <laughs> then I hung up that garland. Is that a garland? That can't be a garland. Whatever that is. If we turn this way, we have my door. I have two pictures hung up right here. I'm gonna hang up my purse right there. That's why there is a hole in my wall. Then we have my mirror so I can check the fits, you know? We have my skincare fridge. And then this is my TBR shelf. That top shelf is a work in progress still too. I hung up my LED moon right there. We can turn it on. Well, it doesn't work. That's great. I hung up these nature-esque pictures on this wall. Then there's my nightstand over there. This is my bathroom. It has a beautiful large mirror, which I love. Bathroom stuff not very exciting. And then we have my closet, which is not organized. The closet is a problem I'm gonna deal with at a later date. I thought we can now set up our floating bookshelves. If you're new to my channel, this is my main bookshelf right here, which holds books I've read. So I'm thinking that I wanna put books in series on the individual shelves or books by the same author. I also have these books, which I've read, which I need to put away. These will probably change up over time, but I'm just gonna see what I think will work and look good for now. Words that you made up Almost forgot Miss Agatha Christie. All right, I shelved the books I needed to put away. And then, again, this is all subject to change, but starting on the left, we have the Truly Devious series. Then we have some Taylor Jenkins Reid up there. Next to her, we have my Colleen Hoover shelf. I know, so basic of me, but I feel like everyone needs to have a coho shelf. And then we have Sherry Lapina. I'm in love with these floating shelves. Like, look. I love that. I think they look so great with like my bookshelf, just surrounded by books, the dream. Eventually a fifth one will go there, but for now, looks great. Here's the fit check for the first day of the semester. Nothing too crazy. It's the, I put in a little bit effort, but not too much vibe. I had to wake up this morning at an ungodly hour. I will update you guys after my first class. Wish me luck. coffee of the day. You know the saying, say it with me, two espressos a day keeps the depresso away. I think they're mowing the lawns. <laughs> Lovely time. Let's talk about my day. I am pleasantly surprised that my first day of classes went actually pretty well. I am kind of tired though. That's actually something I need to work on this semester is making sure I don't run myself into the ground. Something I've learned through my college experience so far and did not expect initially was the amount of physical hard work I would be enduring on the daily basis. I'm pretty used to working hard mentally, but especially after the pandemic when we were all just sitting around all day, quarantined, and then heading off to a college located literally in the mountains, which 
meant I would be constantly walking up and down hills in between classes. It's safe to say I was enlightened pretty fast on my new physically demanding lifestyle. <laughs> You're all gonna think I'm lazy, but I swear I walked way past 10,000 steps during my first week of college. I did find all of my classes super fast today, which was really nice. I'm usually that person on the first day of the semester that will wander the halls for 20 minutes trying to find their first class. The class numbers are confusing, okay? I have even asked people for help before and I have only been led astray. I really do need the second coffee today. I can't say much about my classes yet because we've only really gone over the syllabi so far, but my professors seem nice. I have to let this cool. All right, I'm gonna go drink this delicious coffee. See you guys later. I thought I'd show you the book I'm about to start tonight. I'm gonna start Twisted Hate by Anna Huang. Maybe my fifth shelf can be like an Anna Huang shelf. Good idea, Sarah. That's something to think about. This one's definitely thicker than the other Twisted books. 500 pages. Lovely. It's not like I just read an 800 page book recently. This month I am tackling my big book fear. Reading is truly an Olympic sport sometimes and we're only gonna get better by pushing ourselves. Okay. okay, it looks like I put 50 cans of dry shampoo in my hair. I can assure you I didn't. You'll understand in a minute. I decided it was about as good as time as any to catch up on my reading journal. If you want, I can make a whole separate video on it. I definitely got some inspiration with the cover from Books with Chloe. I don't know how people keep up with their reading journal. I'll forget about mine for like three months and then update it all at once in one big go. It is Friday afternoon, by the way. This morning I went to my classes and then after I decided it would be the perfect time to utilize my apartment swimming pool since it was 11 a.m. and no one would be there. If you guys didn't know, I actually used to swim competitively. I don't think, I don't, did I even go swimming this summer? So I hadn't been swimming for a while. So it was really nice and refreshing. I'm trying to incorporate little fun, spontaneous activities like that to change up my routine a little bit here and there. Just trying to live my life to the fullest. Gotta live, laugh, love. Update on Twisted Hate. I am enjoying this way more than I thought I was going to. If I had to rank the Twisted books as of right now, it would be Twisted Hate, Twisted Love, and then Twisted Games, which I know is controversial since everyone and their mom seems to like Twisted Games the most. I did like that book, but I just didn't enjoy it as much as Twisted Love. And then so far in Twisted Hate, I'm loving the tension between the characters and Jewel's fiery, confident personality. I love a good girl boss moment in a book. I am 156 pages in so far, and I cannot wait to get back to this. Y'all already know what I'll be doing this Friday night. Reading this book. So basically what I'm doing, I'm cutting these little itty bitty books out from the sticker paper that they're printed on. And then I'm going to stick them on this chart, which has a lot of gaps in it. I told you guys already, I, I know I'm behind. <laughs> to track what I've read so far this year chronologically. After this, I should probably get started on the homework I already got assigned. I have like three different things to read and then an essay to write. It hasn't even been a full week yet. Isn't it kind of funny how at each level in your school, you'll take like the same class again and again. It's like they're trying to drill this information into your brain. Like in elementary school, I took a US history class. Middle school, took a US history class. High school, took a US history class. College, am taking a US history class. Gotta love that. I think I'm gonna be here for a while. <laughs> how many books I have to cut out. I think that's gonna be it for this video. I know this vlog was a bit all over the place, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it. If you would like to see more of these types of videos, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I'm trying to show a thumbs up. Um, it's not working. Uh, okay. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help me my channel out a lot. You can also comment, interact, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff. I hope y'all are having a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.